guys, it's Clockwork McGrim, back after a really long hiatus, um, with this, um, I'm trying to remember what I titled it, haha. <laughs> well, whatever, the, it's, I think it's titled, Here Enters the Panda Hero, or Here Enters the Pitch Hitter. Anyway, this drawing is pretty much, like, if I could alternately be titled, Max has an identity crisis and an existential crisis for like six months um because it was made in the middle of said crisis um which is why there's a photo under there i was feeling like i couldn't freehand draw anymore and that's that's like from art school but i'm i'm not going to like traditional art school but i had this teacher who was like never draw only trace from photos oops my pen just uh -huh. um and so she destroyed my confidence which is why you know with art school don't always take your teacher's word as gospel there is one professor who i take his word as gospel but he's really really cool and i agree with him on like everything but this teacher she was like never draw original characters never imagine things only trace from photos only draw real things and you know sorry there's a dog howling next door so if that's picking up i'm sorry um, anyway, so that's why this took so long for there to be another video, is for months, I just didn't draw, you know? Which, in turn, reinforced my belief that I couldn't draw, because when I tried to draw, everything would look kind of funky. Um, and, you know, that's just, that's a bad, that's a bad funk to be in when you're an artist. Really bad funk. Um, and I was there, I took her last class... God, late 2017, early 2018, it's, it's been months that I just haven't been drawing. Um, I've been coloring my beautiful friend's drawings, but I haven't been doing things myself. Um, I also, I'm gonna sound like a sponsored video, this isn't sponsored, this is made in Procreate, which, like, if you have six bucks when the sale comes around, Six bucks for Procreate is like the best choice I've ever made in my life. Um, I still love Corel Painter, don't worry. You know, never gonna stop loving Corel Painter, but for when I can't get to my computer, a tablet with, you know, just Procreate. I think it's nine dollars normally. Anyway, that's just for like my materials list of what I'm doing. Oh, here my, my beautiful friend, um, her name's Kay, she helped out with this hand. Um, cause I had just, I'd reached absolute, you know, lack of confidence. I can't do anything. Um, it was a sad place to be. And this was for Inktober, so you can say this, see, this was day six. So this was for, this was started on October 6th. And I finished it this morning. So it took a little under two months. The actual physical drawing clearly didn't but the the crisis part you know and that was I could have done a lot in that two months a whole lot you know that what gives our teacher who ruined my confidence like did you get off on that was that fulfilling for you I hope so I hope you're proud of yourself um anyway <laughs> I have a different art teacher now and um, but that's my, my message to younger artists is if you have it, like always, always listen to critique. But if you, if you have critique that is just, I hate it, that's not useful critique. Like, and I took this critique where she was like, you know, I don't like the characters that you make. I don't like that you imagine things. And I was like, okay, then I guess I won't. And I was miserable. You know, these have been like a really crappy couple of months. My fiance got me through it. Thank you, babe. Um, shout out to them. But, you know, it just, it ruined me. Which sucked. Um, it was absolute garbage. Okay, now we're getting to the red background, I think. This is, oh yeah, I tried to add perspective and his head just looked too big. It was bad. Okay, so here we're into the red background. This was when I picked it up again in December. And this is where the real magic starts to happen. I just, I've been painting for like, 10 years I just figured out what a clipping mask is but you know that's okay past grim it's not your fault 
Um, and here's my freaky new shading thing where I was trying this thing called like rainbow shading. I don't know where I first saw it, but it's when you try and use at least half the color wheel for one single area. Which is why the shadows are like magenta and the highlights are like bright yellow. It makes the drawing look more lively. Um, so I'm trying that out. I really like the way it looks. Um, it's a lot better than like whatever the other alternate shading is. I don't know, using the same color with different um, like shades and tones. You can do that, obviously. There's really great artists who do that. Um, but I am I'm no longer one of them. I like the rainbow shading. And um Yeah, I didn't really plan about what to talk about from here on in. Um I chose the black splatters on the red background because I thought if it was the other way I'd look way too edgy. Um Oh, I made his hair too brown here by mistake, so I had to go in and fix it on the leveling thing. Oh, and this part, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to, I got some critique from a friend that was how to make his hair kind of stand out from the background a little more, and I was like, okay, I'll make him on fire, and then I was like, oh wait, this character like has a halo, so why not do that? Um, and uh, it was a little, little funky getting there, but I figured it out, and uh, here's the finished illustration. Um, yeah. Thank you.